Hey, I'm Shovel, and I live in the inland northwest, so hopefully you'll excuse the steam leaving my mouth as I talk out here in the cold. A couple months ago, I installed these LED headlights from Auto One LED in my Jeep Patriot, and one of the things I observed about them is the way they're manufactured, instead of dissipating the heat out the back of the bulb like most LED assemblies do, it's got a little fan, and it distributes the heat that this thing generates inside of the assembly of the headlight. And I thought that might be a kind of interesting way of addressing the issue that LED headlights often have, where they just don't get hot enough to melt snow and ice off the front of the bulb. So for the past couple of months, I've been patiently waiting for a snowy day or an especially cold day where I'd be able to film this and make it visually impressive to you so that you could see, and I could see, whether these things do as good a job as the incandescent light bulbs do at keeping the front of the bulb assembly warm. And uh, it just hasn't been, I mean, there's no snow on the ground. We usually get snow by now, but there's, there's just none. So what I've decided I'm gonna do is film this anyways. We're gonna look at it through the thermal camera right there and take a look at which one lights up and heats up more quickly. Will it deposit enough heat on the front of the lens assembly in order to melt whatever snow and stuff like that is there? So this might be a kind of a boring video, but it's gonna answer a question for me and it might answer a question for you. If you wanna see my review on these Auto One LED headlights, uh, that'll be up here. Uh, if you want just a short example of it, the manufacturing quality on them is excellent. They do require those decoder things to plug in in order to keep the car from flashing and flickering them. At least for a Jeep Patriot, that may not be true of all vehicles, but I expect it's probably true of most Chrysler, Jeep, FCA, Mitsubishi vehicles from that era because they're all going to use pretty much the same electrical system. So uh, with that said, they do produce a lot of very pretty white light. Uh, in clear weather conditions, they work really well, but just like all other LEDs, they struggle with uh, rainy and wet conditions. Let's go ahead and turn on the headlights. I'm also going to turn on the engine so that the battery doesn't die, and we're going to watch the headlights warm up. I expect that this one's going to warm up more quickly because this one's an incandescent bulb, and this one is the other auto one led but over time after that one's had a chance to blow the air around inside there it might end up being the same temperature What we can see at this point here is that this headlight is turning white or turning the kind of hotter temperature right there versus this headlight over here, which is still not getting as warm. It's been a solid 10 minutes at this point, and you can tell that uh, this headlight right over here is quite a bit hotter than this one over here. So that's kind of a, a damning thing for getting any kind of heat off of that. And I'm gonna walk up there and see if I can feel any subjective difference, but I think that the heat camera is giving us all the info we need. So the water on the front of that is liquid. And so if we take this, we can just move that around and it feels physically warm, like I actually am getting Nice, comfortable heat off of this, um, probably about body temperature. And this one here is the LED, and it looks like there's steam or something coming off of somewhere, but this right here, this is ice, and even here on the lens, that's, that's ice. So it is presumably melting it a little bit, but certainly not anywhere near as much as the other side is. I think so far that's pretty much gonna be conclusive. Obviously after 10, 11, 12 minutes, we've got quite a lot more heat on the incandescent side than we do on the LED side. Despite the fact that the LED should be depositing the majority of the heat that it actually makes inside of that headlamp assembly, just like the incandescent one does. So just for giggles, I'm gonna turn on all the other lights. Every other light on the front of this is incandescent as well, and we're gonna see what they look like under the thermal camera. That is, that is bright. I think that we gave the LED bulb the best possible chance we could of delivering heat to the front of the lamp assembly, and it pretty obviously doesn't hold a candle 
to incandescent in this case. And so I know that, of course, LEDs are more energy efficient because they don't waste as much energy on heat. But if heat is a feature that you're actually asking for, then it's not a waste either. So um, in this case, uh, they're really good quality LEDs, but they're still not going to beat incandescent for my application. So um, hopefully you learned something. I know I did. Thanks for watching.